Shadow people are mysterious, and I'm not saying they're aliens, but are some shadow people aliens? Welcome to Hunt Road Media. I'm author and ghost story and Mike Bricksecker. Explore with us. Shadow people are extremely mysterious, and there have been a plethora of theories over the years as to exactly who and what they are. I've had many shadow people experiences, and I'm currently writing a book on the subject, A Walk in the Shadows, coming in 2020, which will probably be out by the time most of you actually watch this video. I give lectures on these shadow entities, and one of the questions I receive most often is, are some of these shadow people actually aliens? This is actually a very good question, since there are likely a large variety of different types of extraterrestrials throughout our universe, and we still have many different ideas and theories as to how they interact with us in our own world. One such theory about aliens and shadow people is that the shadow that we see may actually be an attempt at some sort of cloaking device. Here's a scenario to deliberate. An alien race is searching for a new home because its planet is dying, and they have detected Earth as a hospitable planet. However, they have also detected there are intelligent beings who have already populated the planet. That's us. They decide they wish to observe the human race to determine if we are beings in which they could cohabitate with. So they deploy a few of their kind on reconnaissance missions to Earth. For their own protection, they utilize a cloaking technology they've developed for their spacesuits and send out their emissaries. At times, these emissaries stand in the corner of people's bedrooms or in their closets or outside a window and simply observe our nature. Unfortunately, this alien race is not familiar with our physicality and how our eyes receive and translate light. So instead of humans not seeing these aliens at all, we see a dark form standing and staring at us. The cloaking device works enough in that we don't see any discernible features of the alien wearing the suit or even any features of the suit itself. We only see a dark bipedal form that really could be anything, but it frightens most people. That's one possible explanation, but true extraterrestrial beings may actually be accessing our planet through other means other than a physical spacecraft. They may actually be accessing our planet from another dimension. I'm of the belief that a true shadow person is an interdimensional being, an entity that lives on a different plane of existence, but sometimes interacts with ours. Let me give you an example of when I believe I've witnessed this. I was just finishing up a paranormal investigation at a restaurant known as Johnny V's in Muskogee, Oklahoma. It no longer exists. A couple guys from the team were upstairs in the bar area and a couple others were out front in the restaurant area when I decided I was going to do a last final photo sweep of the restaurant. Well, as I was walking into the kitchen, I suddenly saw a wisp of a shadow just dart right across the room and slam into the kitchen door that was on the side. Now, this particular door was just a very flimsy metal door, very light. You could just pop it open real quick with your finger just by tapping it because it was meant for waiters and waitresses to walk through carrying large loads of food. But what was really crazy about this moment is that even though I heard that slam of the door, the door, with how flimsy it was, did not move at all. I called out to the others in the restaurant, asked if they had heard it, they had heard it. I started asking questions like, did you throw anything at the door? I went outside the door to see if there was anything in the ground. No, they hadn't thrown anything. They were busy in their conversations in the other parts of the restaurant. Did you guys hear that? Did you, got, did you guys hear that bang? Yeah. Yeah, it was back here in the kitchen. Yeah, I thought I saw a shadow move and I was gonna get my camera out to take a picture. And all of a sudden there was that bang. I was completely baffled, but there was no doubt that I had seen a shadow and it had slammed into that door, even though the door did not move. So what happened here? Here's what I believe went down. When I walked into that room and that entity saw me, Perhaps it saw me as a shadow, perhaps it saw me as a ghost, I don't know, but I scared it. It took off flying through that door. It was on its own plane of existence. Remember, I believe true shadow people are interdimensional beings. And on its plane of existence, it blew right through that door. That door probably 
opened and it was on off into the dining room area. Even though I didn't see it because I was on my own plane of existence, the sound of it echoed between both worlds. That resonance, because it was on a different wavelength, was able to resound into our world as well, even though the action happened on that entity's plane of existence. That is interdimensional interaction. Another interesting example comes from a woman who approached me at a conference I was speaking at and related to me the following story. She awoke in bed in the middle of the night, startled by a flash of light from a room out in the hall. She wasn't sure what this flash was, but a shadow man rushed into her room and jumped on top of her. It pinned her down and she heard laughter. After a brief moment, it jumped off her and ran back into the other room, after which she saw another flash of light. The next day, she entered that room and flipped on the light switch. Two flashes of light suddenly burst forth in the room and the smell of burnt electronics filled the air. Most of the electronics in the room had completely fried and she called the fire department. Were those flashes of light possibly the shadow person entering our plane of existence and then suddenly exiting? Was this an intentional crossing of one dimension to another that required such a transfer of energy that it created a burst of light? Now, when it comes to extraterrestrials, if an alien race has mastered the astral plane and can project themselves into our world from their own, then it's quite possible for some of these shadow people to actually be extraterrestrial beings. Perhaps with the way they are transmitting themselves into our dimension from their own, we are only able to see a certain wavelength of that transmission, and all we're able to see of their bodies is this shadow. As I always say with paranormal and supernatural phenomena, it's all theory, and I'm not saying it's aliens, but it may very well be with some of these shadow people that they actually are aliens. For more videos about shadow person phenomena, please take a look at our other videos off to the side. I'm Mike Ricksecker, till next time.